Let us click on this pole and see how much power we are making. 1.2 gigawatts. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of Satisfactory with me, Biffa. Today, we are starting plan one or part one of our plan to sort out our factory here into something super organized. And that is to go for 1.21 gigawatts of energy. Yep. Why not? It's a figure I'm sure many of you are familiar with. If you've ever seen Back to the Future or been struck by lightning, you will know. And we are going to do that, which means we need to put a heck of a lot of these coal uh, generators all in one spot. Because that's what we're using at the minute. We're not quite up to the oil level. And I want to do it with coal because we have access to coal. If we upgrade it again in the future to get uh, oil, we'll do it again. But for now, this is what we've got now. If we look at one of these, if we underclock these or put them down to their normal clock speed, they do 50 megawatts. So if my maths was correct, and I worked this out early and I may have forgotten, but it's something like 22 and a half of these coal generators. This is not overclocked, uh, not with power shards. 22 and a half will give us 1.21 gigawatts. So I'm going to do 24, so we've got some extra. And I'm going to save all my power shards for overclocking machines and things. I think that is a better use of the power. So we need a place to put them. They're not going to go here because they're all getting in the way. We're running out of space and stuff. Let's run over here and get our little pink buggy, which uh, unfortunately cannot be... Uh, I said little pink buggy, didn't I? Our little tractor, which unfortunately cannot be turned pink, which is very annoying. It needs some power. There we go. Let's chuck that in there. I wish I could color it pink, but we can't. But yeah, let's head on over to the area that I've prepared... Which is where we're going to have all of our coal generators. Look at this. It's massive. It is massive. This is where we are going to put them. Yes. All of this over here. So, <laughs> look at the size of it. I've got everything in my inventory ready to make 24 coal generators. And what we need to do is just make this side a little bit bigger. This big flat area here was doing nothing. So, we've repurposed this. And I just think it's going to look absolutely fantastic. Let's just jump out here and finish off this side. We need some more foundations. We have plenty of concrete. Can I get that one lined up? If I can do that, then we can just walk along here and do the rest of these. In fact, if I go a bit further along, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Then we can get all of these done super quick. Ah, oh, wrong place. Come here. Did it get built in the wrong place? I don't know. Anyway. If there's an extra one in the floor there, we can sort that out. Let's run back a little bit further again. And then we can start placing these down. Oh, man, it's going to be fantastic. There we go. So this may mean that we can't rely on our one little truck bringing coal backwards and forwards. We do have the ability to make the Mark III... Um, what are they called now? The Mark III in logistics. The Mark II, sorry, I beg your pardon, conveyor belt, which has 120 resources per minute. This may be the time. Is that to the end? Yeah, there we go. That's to the end. This may be the time that we do that from our coal. Our coal is way over there somewhere, rather than relying on the truck going backwards and forwards. So we shall see how that goes. Can I pop that in there? I can. Excellent. There we go. So we've got a space in the middle for splitters. Then we've got a gap. And then we've got three. And same other uh, either side. We've got the space in the middle for the splitters. A gap. Then we've got three. And that's where our coal generators are going to go. So let us start putting these down. Coal generator should be number nine. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely massive. But this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be huge. This is going to be tons of fun. So let's turn that around. And I want to see if we can get the first one lined up correctly. So if we go all the way to the back. To me, that looks like it's on the back. Let's run around here and have a look. Oh, there we go. Number one. Yes. Almost to the back. That's fine. And where's the middle? Here's the middle. So between there and there, we get a splitter. Unfortunately, I face it the wrong way around because I'm a numbskull. So let's turn that bad boy around. There we go. Let's do that again. Number nine. Dink, dink, and in. Yes, yeah, so we get the first one down. And we can line up everything else along with that. I'm going to go back to there. Okay, there we go. Let's test that. There's the input. 
There we go. A little bit of space to run along the back here. That's what I want. And then splitters are going to go here. Excellent. So, let's place all of these down. Hopefully, nicely lined up. Floor too steep. What the devil are you talking about? It's an entirely flat floor. So, it can't go next to it there. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, it won't go right next to it there. Even though this is a perfectly flat floor. Oh, that is just nuts. So I'm going to have to leave some space in between each one. Okay, one, two. It will go on the third one. Is that going to be the same for this as well? Is it just because it's right next to it? I think that's what it is, isn't it? No, you see, that will do it. I'll tell you what we'll do then. We'll do that. And can we move this one up so it's next to here? Oh, we can. Yeah, let's do that instead then. Floor is too steep. What? What are you talking about? Okay, what if we took the floor out? <laughs> so there's no floor to be too steep all about. Place it down. Do, 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 do. Floor too steep. Floor too steep. That is nuts. That is nuts. Do you know what? We don't even need to start it right at the beginning. We could give ourselves a little bit of walking space. And start them here. And just hope we don't come across any more floor is too steep problems. Yep, there's two. Let's just keep going and place these and see how far we can get. Uh, there's three. And these have got to turn pink as well. Okay, four. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm excited. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, we've got plenty of space anyway. Come on, get in there. Ten. Eleven. Come on. Twelve. Whoa, look at that. So we've got twelve on that side, and now we want to do the same on the other side as well. There we go. Look at that. Twenty-four. Coal generators looking fantastic. Okay, so the next step in all of this, other than to turn them all pink, is to get our splitters running down the middle here. So uh, let's run back. Yeah, that's annoying. If you're putting it on another conveyor belt, you don't get the green guidelines to show you when you've lined it up with the ones next to it like that. If you don't put it on... So I may actually just do it without this down the middle. That might just be actually easier. Ah, but once you've got the first one in, there we go. It will line up with that. So that is actually quite helpful. There we go. Although it's still... Oh, yeah. I think we're going to get it right. And the last one. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. This is looking fantastic. Let's jump up here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So now all we need to do is get our coal running up here. Um, I, I seriously don't think we're going to have enough plates to do this whole thing. Uh, let's just turn around. Come on, Bumblebee. Let's go. To do this whole thing as conveyor belt level two. Let's just go and see how many refined plates we've got. And it may be that we just connect up to the, the truck system that we have for now. There we go. That's looking good. So then we want to get the conveyor belt coming along here. And then run that down the middle here. It means we're not going to be able to drive our car up here as easily anymore. But that's fine. And that will probably go all the way. Yes, I think it will. Well, let's go to the bottom and then go into there. Whoa, here we go. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to disconnect this bit. Wait for all the coal to get round here. Let's have a look. And I'm wondering whether we could start upgrading. Let's see how far we can get with upgrading our lines to conveyor belt three. Let's put that down as number three. So you can upgrade these in place if you didn't know. And they are taking iron plates. So if you've already done it, it won't let you. If you haven't done it yet, there we go. It will light up. Uh, iron plate. Reinforce iron plate. Already we're missing some iron plates. <sighs> expensive, expensive. And they nicely work together as well, which is good. Let's just grab some more reinforced iron plates from up here. Boing. Boing. And this one here. What have we got? 
We have got quite a lot. Let's just take as many as we can. In fact, that was all of them. And upgrade as much as we can. Oh, that's pretty good. We've managed to get easily all the way to the end. And I definitely wanted it up to here. Uh, let's upgrade that one. And then as it spreads out from there, that's fine. And what I want to do is I want to put in a watchtower. A nice big tall watchtower here. I mean, I could use that and make some of this go a bit higher out of the way. But no, that's fine as it is. Uh, where's my watchtower? Foundations, organizations, my lookout tower. That's what I mean. So let's just check the view before we hook this thing up. Oh man, yeah, this is going to be a view and a half, isn't it? Look at that. Right, let's let's hook up this final one. We go down. Okay, I'll just jump off and not do that. Okay, so before we get all that going, I want to get my power set up. So we are going to have uh, a power pole. Is that the best place it can go? In each of the corners. And then we're just sort of going to run these down the back here. Is that lined up with that one if that goes there? Yeah. So let's hook up the poles first to make sure we've got that all working. There we go. There. So I've just put a pole every other every other thing. There we go. And that's going to go all the way to the end. Excellent. And then we can start hooking up two of these. Let's just get rid of that. There we go. So one of those to there. And then one of those to there. Yep. And then one of those to there. And one of those to there. And I'll do that all the way along. And then on the other side as well. There we go. That should be the last few connected. Excellent. And we have our power coming to the end here. So let's just run up here and take a look. And I've run some of these power cables along here. Let's just connect these up as well. Going back to our base. So we can make use of all this lovely power. So that's got to come to here. That's got to go to there. That's got to go to there. Okay, let's just see what both of these say before we hook everything up and watch it all spring into action. So is this going to give us any information? Zero at the moment. That's fine. I'm assuming that one over there is going to be the same, which is good. Um, I would actually, I'm going to disconnect that from our base. So we're not getting any information from our base. Uh, number two, I want that to connect to here. And want that to connect to here. Okay, so anything we read off of this pole will only be this system here. This is rather exciting. So let's get our last piece of conveyor belt hooked up. And let's run up the top and watch this thing spring into action. Here it goes. Here goes the coal. And you know what? While it's doing that, uh, that's not the right thing. While it's doing that, we could grab this. And we could start pinkifying everything. Can I reach that far? Things are springing into life. You can hear them. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to have to speed up the ones going up the middle there as well, aren't we? Most definitely. Let's see how far we can go with this. Uh, can I not reach that one? Can't reach that. We can get some of these down here. There we go. Looking pink. Looking pink. Very good. I'll have to go around and do these as well. Where's the other one? There we go. And there we go. And there we go. And this one down here. Excellent. Right. So these haven't got into life yet. I'm wondering whether... Ouch. Have I got enough plates to upgrade these? Let's see. Conveyor belt mark two. Let's do these ones up the middle. As much as I can, just to speed things up a bit. There we go. Yep, oh, we still do it. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. And there we go. Excellent. That's all of those sped up. Let's finish off the colouring. Excellent, 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 excellent. There we go. How far along is the coal? Man, this is going to take a while because each of these, of course, has to fill up to 100. So when that happens, then the coal is going to start backing up here like that. Then it will head out to the next one. Yes. So give it... Oh, you can see some of that for some random reason. That one at the end there is working. Let me run around pinkifying a few things and we'll come back when they're all going and check out what the actual power is. Also, we've got space. If ever we want to add some more, I reckon we could fit another... Whoa, what do we reckon? Another five, another ten altogether? Something like that, which would just be fantastic.
And here we go in the last two here. Almost filled up, but all of them are now working. Look at this. It's fantastic. I'll put a look at tower down this end as well so we can get a good look. Let's just fall down here and injure ourselves. Oh, go on, down you go. You can do it. And, yeah, that's probably going to stay there for a while. While that is there, let us do the thing we have to do. Pink. And look at that. These are all backing up nicely. Everything is... Oh, that's backed up already. We are filled up with coal. So, from our one coal... Now, what I'm hoping is, is our little truck that's running backwards and forwards, giving us all the coal, is going to be able to keep up with the demand. But this actually isn't moving that quickly. It doesn't burn through. Well, you, you know why, don't you? It's because this isn't plugged into our base. I'm an idiot. It will start burning through lots of coal. Let us click on this pole and see how much power we are making. 1.2 gigawatts or 1,200 megawatts. That is absolutely fantastic. This is what it looks like. Let's go into picture mode. This is what 1.2 gigawatts of power looks like. Ah! So let's hook this into the base. We need to just click on that and join that to there. And that should now be powering all of our base, which means we can get rid of some of the other things down there. Let's just pinkify a few of these. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of these coal burners down there and tidy up our base a bit, make some space. So what have we got all together now? 1.268. Oh, and this one's been flicked. Let's turn it on. There we go. Everything should be working. Aha! And let's go and check how our coal usage is doing. I've got to pinkify all of this as well. I'll get to doing that. So no more coal coming up here. So you can go... Have I got enough room in my inventory for everything? I hope so. Yes. Ha ha. These are going to go as well. Let's just jump over here. Nice. Here he comes. He's filling up again. Look at that. I, I, I'm pretty convinced that he is easily going to keep up with that. Oh, we need the fuel one to go into here, don't we? So let us add that back in. Let's just put our normal... Conveyor belt on number three, and we'll just put that into there. What we don't want is it going out this side. So that's going to go, that's going to go, this is going to go, that's going to go. Here it goes. Oh, it's gone. This one's going to go, and we're going to get all of our nice, all of our nice uh, power slugs back as well. Excellent. Our coal still needs to come along here, actually. So let's add this in. This is going over to our steel production. Yep, over there. So we'll leave that running. So that is absolutely fantastic. We've now done away with these this mess over here, which has given us a ton of more space. And we've got more power than we know what to do with. So what did you think of this big build? Let me know in the comments below. Hit the big B with a T-stain to subscribe and don't miss out on the next episode of Satisfactory coming to you very soon. Man, oh man, this has been fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.